a lot of people don't know this about me, and this is very hard to share, but I've worked at a lot of companies, and I've always felt like I put in an extreme amount of effort and really took pride in the position I had at those companies. And despite that, I always felt very undervalued and as if there's like some invisible ceiling that really stops you from getting to where you want to go. Now, I thought getting a master's degree would allow me to break into a new industry and put me on a new path and fix all of those problems. And it did for a short period of time. It allowed me to get a technical job at a company, but I quickly realized that I'm not really a technical person and I'm much more aligned to business development roles. Now, one day I met a man named David at work. He had been stuck in the same position for years. Like I'm talking a long period of time. And although he put on a brave face and he was a very nice person and I got on very well with him, I could tell that he wasn't happy. And I couldn't shake the feeling that if I stayed here working at this company, I would end up exactly like him. So I was lucky enough to come across an online course, which I paid $2,500 to buy because I was so desperate to learn new things and just change the path I was on and take control really of my future and where I wanted to go. Now that course ended up helping me land a much better job and a job that I was way more aligned with. And I loved that job at first. It allowed me to travel. You know, I traveled around Australia. I met lots of amazing people. I traveled around Southeast Asia, met people in government, went to embassies. I mean, it really was a dream job. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Great pay, everything you can imagine. It ticked all the boxes for me. And everything seemed great on paper. But despite all that, I still felt like another cog in the wheel. I still felt like cattle when I was going to work, looking at everyone else going to work in the same outfit as me, suit, tie. And everyone that was older than me just looked depressed, like they really weren't excited about going to their job. And after realizing this, and to be honest, noticing this for a very long time, I made a decision that completely changed my life. I decided to go all in on business. And even though it wasn't easy at first, I eventually landed my first $2,500 sale. And the feeling when you land your first sale is absolutely unreal, especially a high ticket sale. It gave me the belief that it's possible to make money on the internet. And not only that it's possible, but that I could actually pull it off myself. I felt like I had finally found the thing that I was good at and that would allow me to break through all those ceilings and bring me the fulfillment that I was seeking. That first sale got me hooked on the rush of getting new clients. And so I just built my business around getting clients and helping other people get clients because I wanted other people to experience the feeling I did when I first got my client. And I just wanted to have that feeling all the time and help other people experience that as well. Now, I'm sure from the outside at this time, everything was looking really good. My life probably looked perfect because when I quit my job, it didn't take me too long until I moved into a really nice apartment. I had a new sports car and I was spending a bit of money and just, you know, I was having a good life because I was very successful very early on. But deep down, I actually wasn't happy. And that's because I realized something very important at the time. And that is that material things don't actually do it for me. I didn't quit my job and start a business because I wanted to buy stuff. I did those things because I wanted freedom. So I sold everything. I sold my car, all my stuff, everything you can think of, gone. And I made the decision right there and then to set my life up in a way that gave me what I truly wanted, which is more freedom. And I'll be honest with you, it's not been easy. Despite all the success at the beginning, markets change, life changes, there's competition, and there have been moments where I cried myself to sleep, praying to God for new clients. At the time, this was so embarrassing because I had built my business on the idea that I could help other people get clients. And although I had success at first, everything changed all of a sudden and I was unable to do for myself what I was promising I could do for others. I felt like a total fraud. I even lost some of my best friends because I couldn't afford to travel with them. I was so broke, my money, my savings was going down the toilet and I didn't know how to turn things around. It was a really, really hard time of my life. Now, luckily since then, I've learned a lot and I've gone through a lot of experiences and I've sacrificed a lot to go through those experiences and learn from my mistakes. But the real point of this video is to let you know that you're probably on the right path, even if you don't feel like it right now. 
God knows I've questioned if I'm on the right path for years, always asking for guidance, always wondering if I'm taking the right steps to get to where I want to go. But the funny thing about life is that it's not revealed to you all at once. You actually have to go through the journey. You have to go through the happy times, the sad times, the fun times, the boring times, the hard times, the easy times. And once you realize all of that, everything becomes much clearer. You will start to see that everything you've been doing up until now has actually been in alignment to what you are truly here on this earth to accomplish. And at the end of the day, you're going to realize that it's never really about money. Sure, money is going to solve a lot of your problems, but money doesn't actually fulfill you. And so what life is really about is achieving fulfillment. For me, fulfillment is freedom. The freedom to go anywhere I want, do anything I want, and spend time with the people I love most. That's what matters most to me. None of the material stuff. Now, if this story resonated with you, make sure you share it with someone who might need to hear it. And if you've ever questioned your path, let me know in the comments, because trust me, you're not alone.